Right now, you're looking at a hundred Lego minifigures. But not only are there a hundred Lego minifigures here, they are also aged one through a hundred. And in this video, they are going up against each other through life-threatening challenges for a million dollars. My question is, do any of you know what you're getting yourself into? Okay, they might be emotionless right now, but this first challenge is going to shock their plastic little faces. At least I hope. This first challenge will launch you at unbelievable speeds, and if you guessed a cannon, then you are incorrect. Sorry. I built a catapult, and this thing is terrifying. I mean, just look at them. They're, they're scared. So the challenge is simple. We launch them from this end of the table all the way to the other end, and there we have this box to catch them. They'll all be launched at the same speed, but if they do not make it in the bucket, they are eliminated. All right, bring it to me, the baby. It is ages one through 100, so we have to start with the youngest contestant. Do not make me feel bad. No way did that actually just happen. The baby made it in. Oh, we gotta do it again. Age two, let's go. Age two also made it. I am legit living out childhood dreams here because one by one, the minifigures were making it until number nine just kind of bounced out. I was trying to get 10 in a row and he broke my streak. So number nine is eliminated, but not the only one here to be eliminated. Cause then 13, 14, 16, 19, 23, and a lot of other people that we don't have time to mention also got eliminated. So that was pretty sad. It also only left us with 43 people left to go to challenge two, which is where we are at now. And I'm afraid that we are going to lose even more minifigs than we did last time. So for the second challenge, we have sort of a zigzag tower. The idea of this tower is to drop the minifigs from the top. And as they're falling, they have a chance to fly out one of these windows, which is the elimination route. But if you make it to the bottom, then you are safe. Let's put the cover on. And again with the baby. What the baby made it again, H2. Wait, what happened there? H2 got stuck in the box. Oh, wait, it's okay. You can stop freaking out. She's over here. Let me just give it a little shake. And she came out the bottom. She's good. But little did I know, they were all good because everyone I put in seemed to come out the bottom. You guys are making me look bad. And sure enough, not a single one was eliminated. Which brings us to the next challenge. For this one, I decided to build a water slide. Sure, the zigzag tower was a bad idea, but this is going to take out minifigures. Maybe. I don't know. The idea is that the minifigure will come down from the top of the slide being pushed by the water and hopefully fall through one of the holes. Well, it's hopefully for me because that's elimination for them. All right, I took this puppy outside and got out the old water hose. Obviously at the start, the super baby made it. Age two made it, but age three didn't. So that's pretty sad. Age 10 fell through. Age 11 made it, so that was good. But then 24 got stuck. Yeah, I gave him a little push because he was at the bottom. Little did I know this innocent little water slide would actually wipe out like half the contestants in this round. So many people were just falling through, but I had to keep going until there was absolutely nobody left in the container. Look at all these poor minifigs. We even lost Wonder Woman. It's so sad. That left us with only these people left, which brings us to challenge four. It's simple. You got an arrow. It points towards the spinning board then you have these little green and red squares if the arrow lands on a green square then the minifigure is safe and if it lands on a red square then they are eliminated and just to be fair i did build this box i put all the minifigures in there and what it does it shuffles them up and throws out a random minifigure that way i'm not the one picking all right here we go first one and the first one is 34 all right let's spin the wheel yeah 34 didn't make it she got a red so she is eliminated next we have 78 as you can see, he's a little closer to red than green, so he's eliminated. As you can probably guess by now, there are only four green squares on the spinning wheel, which means that only four people can go into the next round. Number 17 just spun the wheel and got a green square, and we only have three squares left at this point. And if someone gets the last green square early, then the whole round is over. And that's looking more likely because 73 just got a green square. And then several eliminations after that, 42 got her green square. But right now, we have our last three contestants of this round. Ooh, we got age 100. But he got eliminated, so that was pretty sad. I did give him a Lambo, so that's that's good. Okay, next we got 31, and he is eliminated, making the baby the winner of the last green square. That means these four are moving on to the final round. And for this round, I decided to make a trap. All four contestants will stand on a square, and on the count of three, I will remove the ground from underneath three out of the four contestants. And I did bring back the shuffle box just to put the minifigures in there and make it fair. Now we just shake that around a bit, and it looks like 73 is our first contestant. Then we got at 42, 17, and the incredible baby. Which one is going to win a million dollars? Is it age one, age 17, age 42, or age 73? We're gonna find out in three, two, one. Well, obviously,
obviously guys, H17 won the challenge. And the other contestants didn't seem too happy with that. So I gave 42 a Shelby Mustang. That she's a little too small for. I gave the one year old the Dark Horse Mustang. Of course he doesn't know how to drive, but that's okay. And the 73 year old got nothing. And I'm kidding, I got her a house. Hey, thank you so much for watching guys. Subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. You don't want to miss out on all the fun.